Hello everyone, I'm a fourth engineer on board a merchant navy vessel and I would like to explain you the engine department of a merchant navy vessel. So basically the first and the topmost boss of the engine department is chief engineer. He is the onboard supervisor. Then we have second engineer who is in charge of the main engine and the safe operation for all the auxiliary engines and machines that are being maintained and operated by the junior engineer officers. The third engineer is the person who is in charge of boilers, generator, which is basically used for electricity, and then sewage treatment plant and so on and so forth. And I mean basically there might be many more auxiliary machineries depending on the type of vessel. The fourth engineer is in charge of the freshwater generator, purifier, compressor, incinerator, pumps and all the pipelines. The fifth engineer or the additional fourth engineer is basically here for an additional practical experience on board the vessel so that he becomes more familiarized with the company regulations and, and is uh, recognized as a fourth engineer by the company. The engine cadet is a person who has just completed his academics in marine engineering. Let it be a diploma that is graduate marine engineering where he comes from the mechanical background or he might be from the degree department that is BE Marine he has completed and is here just for practical experience and then be, and for his preparation for his COC exam that is for his next rank that is 4th engineer and engine department has its own set of crew this crew may be greaser, welder, fitter, wiper, oiler, motorman depending on the type of vessel you are sailing and depending on the, on the size of the crew, you will have that many. i you some of the main engine parameters. This is the main engine telegraph, which is basically used for a head and a stern movement of the entire ship. And uh, these are some of the parameters, uh, like pressure gauges, which are used for the pumps, and uh, essential pumps, which are required for the main engine. This is the main engine load meter, turbocharger revolution meter, there are many things over here, these are some of the indicators and alarms uh, which are used for the pumps, tanks and uh, the working generators I will give you an indicator so in case there is any alarm you will be, you, you can understand what to do please don't worry, uh, like it looks uh, very confusing when you look at it in the beginning but once you get used to it, you just have to study just study sincerely when you are studying, understand the concept, do not mug up anything your basic job is monitoring operation and maintenance most of the times maintenance is key but you are basically paid and you are responsible engineer officer watchkeeper for the safe operation of every machinery that is running on board ship even if you are a fourth engineer you are a junior engineer you are still responsible for the safe operation of every machinery on board the ship vessel so Please make sure you study your concepts very well, don't worry, in time, you get, once you get used to as a junior, you can make your mistakes, you can keep learning, you can ask your seniors and you learn so and forth. Once you learn more and more, you get used to these things, it becomes very much easier and uh, all the best to all of you. Thank you. And yeah, uh, my friend is just going to show you uh, some parts of the engine room and uh, I hope in the next video we can explain you the other um, machineries in the engine department. Thank you.